So this is emo. Girls wear huge buckles on their waists, double piercings in their lips. Boys wear their band shirts tight and pants even tighter. Hair straight or modified mohawk and makeup from powder to eyeliner. Yet this is also emo. types of emos are there? Well, let's find out. Emo core. The OG leaders that made their music softer, more melancholic, less powerful abusing, while lyrically focuses on emotions, personal feelings, being more soul-hitting. Emo started in 80s hardcore punk scene in Washington DC when Russell Spring debuted for one of. An Embrace album. Along with that nasty Beef Eater Singing about vulnerability instead of politics, it was known as the Revolution Summer Movement and soon Thrasher labeled these bands as Emotional Hardcore but both hated the term. Emo core must be the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. As if hardcore wasn't emotional to begin with. Hmm. Anyway, it's God. Other pioneers include Grey Matter <laughs> Moss Icon The Hatred Etc. But in 1986, many bands broke up, marking an end to the scene. But the blueprint was set for second wave of emo, aka Midwest emo. The math rock influenced emo, taking the 80s sound but made more gentle, jazzy with twinkly riffs and unconventional structures, and overall soft, gloomy vibe. During Before starting, we must mention Fugazi, formed by Ian Mackay from Minor Threat and Embrace, for being many bands' inspiration. <laughs> Now onto the video. During the 90s, emo spread from West Coast to Midwest, with Cap and Jazz, Sham and Shaz being the earliest example. Yeah. Along with Brace, the age of our teen. Yeah. And Minerals, the power of failing. Altering the angry sound with indie rock elements. Then American football included jazz and math rock elements into their album. Becoming the Midwest Wise of Spring, influencing other bands like The Promise Ring, The Get Up Kiss, Jawbreaker. Etc. Also, Weezer's Pinkerton were influential to the scene as well. Bands include Sunny Day Real Estate, Texas is the reason, Jejin, etc. Newer bands include Modern Baseball. Mom jeans. Free throw. Etc. Before you continue, make sure to like and subscribe. Your support is my motivation and backbone to continue posting these videos. So please like and subscribe now. Back to the video. Pop emo. The mainstream emo that blends with pop rock, being more accessible, hook field choruses, and easier to sing along. It started when Jimmy Eat World's Bleeding America Just take some time. and Taking Back Sunday's Tell All Your Friends got featured in radio. Bring emo to media's attention, along with brand new. <laughs> Save the day playing live on MTV. Then Dashboard Confessional brought in the acoustic emo with the Swiss Army romance. Creating a new wave of emo that looks like this and listens to Bright Eyes and Death Cat for Cutie. Skip into the mid 2000s with the Big Four consists of My Chemical Romance. Fall Boy 
Panic at the Disco. And Paramore. But Garot Ray has something to say about the label. Well, emo as it is today was just nothing like emo as it was um, when I was growing up watching bands like Sunny Day Real Estate or The Promise Ring. That to me is like real. Emo. This genre is also the stereotypical emo that everyone knows wearing skinny jeans, fan tees, step belts with eyeliner and emo bangs. Other bands include the red jumpsuit apparatus, the all American reject, all time low, etc. I also want to include Pierce the Fowl. Get scared. Oh my God, no one's poisoned by that as well. Because I can. Oh. Emo revival bands include Snowing, <laughs> Algernon Catwalader, Emperor, Emperor, I was a lonely estate. And many more. Screamo. So, screaming emo? A yes and a no. Basically, emo core but more hardcore leaning and screaming out the lyrics to the point where Spotify can't huh? even figure out what they're singing. Proto Screamo dates back to 90s New Jersey bands, Merrill. <laughs> Onto the official first wave in San Diego with Heroin's Heroin. Antioch Arrow's Gems of Masochism. <laughs> and Swing Kids, Swing Kids. <laughs> Making emo more chaotic and aggressive, along with other important bands like Honeywell. Your hair. Indian summer. Etc. It started getting underground success with Sierra Sierra. Envies. All the footprints you have ever left and the fear expecting ahead. Majority rule. Interfere with David Frost. Most second wave bands were heavily influenced by post rock and post hardcore, moreover, being experimental. But keep safe the things I would say and Grace under the radar kinda started the 2000s emo sound. It reached to MySpace and Hot Topic Speaker thanks to the use, the use. First day's full collapse. Other bands include you and I, Off Minor, Silverstein, etc. Emo violence. Some call it the second wave of screamo, basically emo and power violence together. If you don't know what power violence is, then check out this video, link in the description. The term was jokingly coined by Inhumanity in the late 90s, an important band as well. To describe similar music or band like Page 99 Orchid And reversal of man. Other bands include Combat Wounded Veteran, Jerome Stream, Usurp Synapse, etc. Then it died out in mid 2000s but still has tons of active bands like Blind Girls. 
lot of snow. Our striker. I know I skipped emo grind, but that's for future videos. And these are most types of emos. Feel free to add your info or recommend your bands in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.